Now that we've covered the long, drawn-out math of how a dot product projects one vector onto another, let me show you what I think of, what immediately pops into my head when I think of the dot product. I'm going to draw two arbitrary vectors here, completely arbitrary vectors. We'll make this one really long. And when I think of dot product between these two vectors, what immediately pops into my head is not all that cosine, adjacent, normalized magnitude stuff. What immediately pops into my head is the projection of one vector onto another. So this vector projected onto this vector. You can see here, I probably didn't do a perfect job there. But if there was a 90 degree angle there, which, which there is, the, the amount of the blue vector that is running along the green vector is is this vector right there. Or we could turn it around and say, well, how much of the green vector is running along the blue one? Let's project the green vector down to the blue one. And, and so if I did that, like so, we'd probably get something like that. Okay, so, so when you think dot product, think projection of one vector onto the other. And the way you do that is I say, okay, well, I know that A dot B, let's, let's call the blue one A, a dot with B, and I know that if I dot these two together, then that will give me the magnitude of A, magnitude of A, magnitude of B, there's B, uh, times the cosine of the angle between them. All right, and I know that the cosine of the angle is the projection part. Okay, this this triangle here, Whatever vector I want times the cosine will give me the projection part. So the vector I want to project onto, I need to normalize, and that's it. Okay, if I have a, a dot b, that'll give me magnitude of a, magnitude of b, cosine theta. Well, say I want to project b onto a, well, I need to get a, I need to get rid of a here. And how do I get rid of a? Well, I make sure that a's magnitude is 1. If a's magnitude is 1, all I'm left with is b cosine theta. Right Now, the other way around, if I want to project a onto b, well, then I need to eliminate B, and I can't just make B zero. I have to make the length one. I need to normalize it, but if I make it a length one, then all I'm left with is magnitude of A times the cosine of theta. So when you hear dot product, think projections. Get that mnemonic in your head. Now, another thing I'd like to roll off your tongue is if you think about triangles. That's not a very good triangle. Let's do a triangle like this. And this is our 90 degree angle. And here is our theta, and this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. Okay, opposite side, adjacent side. And and we know Sokotoa, all right? And, and I learned that in, I think, grade school, if I remember right. It was, I was pretty early when I learned that. But it really does me no good to think sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Because generally, I know the hypotenuse, and I know the sine of theta. I'm just trying to figure out the length of one side. So instead of thinking sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, I think the length of the opposite side is equal to hypotenuse sine theta. Right? Same thing with the adjacent side. I, I think of it as adjacent side is equal to hypotenuse oh, sine theta, hypotenuse cosine theta. Right, so instead of me, my, the way Jamie looks at triangles is not adjacent opposite hypotenuse. Instead, what I see when I see a triangle is hypotenuse and theta. And then I can say, okay, well, this is H cosine theta. And this is H sine theta. All right, so it might bend your brain or hurt your brain a little bit to... Think of triangles like this instead of Sokotoa. If you like, you can certainly derive what I have here from Sokotoa. I mean, that's what I just did. In fact, Toa, we're not even using the tangent part. But if, if you can think of triangles more on terms of... Let me erase all this. If you can think of a triangle as, hey, I got a hypotenuse, I got a theta, so this is H cosine theta and H sine theta, then the dot product just kind of makes sense. Oh, we're projecting one vector. Let me turn these into vectors, okay? We're projecting this vector onto this vector. Or maybe we're projecting this vector onto that vector. It doesn't really matter, but, but the, the cosine there is important.